Hey, I'm Kyle, and this is The Vervet Forest, Season 2, Episode Number 13. On today's episode, I give you an update on Vera and Horst over in Disneyland. Abby gets a foster mom from Sick Bay Troop. I also give you an update on the Scro, Robert, and Coco Troop babies. Maisie and Foxy head out with their foster mom, Mrs. Gold, into the Goliath Troop main enclosure, and we receive four, yes, four, brand new orphan baby vervet monkeys. Want to give thanks to my patrons, Jim and Linda, Mac, Mercia Merlot, Catherine Hoffman, and Chuck and Di. You guys are all amazing. In Disneyland, Vera was chilling in her sleep crate. Horse was munching on some acacia leaves. Horst is older than Vera, and with his guidance, she has been gaining monkey skills and confidence. You're not gonna find what you're looking for. So again, we try to say water by, by not changing it too often, but you see it's really dirty, it dies very quickly away. And I'm grabbing one, you have soap in that container there, okay. in case you need to change the water. So you literally should have everything here. Okay. Um, water is going to mix with the water. Mm -hmm. okay. So you want to make sure the bottom part, even though the bottom is going to move oh, like okay. around the bottom, it's okay. not actually going to get away. Right. Well, if you've got, um, the next morning, Abby was set to meet the moms of Sick Bay Troop. Ronnie, a juvenile female, was the first to enter the enclosure, and Abby wanted nothing to do with her. But slowly and cautiously, Ronnie and Abby began to bond. Ronnie took a slightly aggressive approach to grooming, but it was still a good first step to friendship. Then Megan came in and gave Abby a big hug. After a little while, an adult female named Dolly entered the enclosure. Dolly did not hesitate. She walked right up to Abby, pushed her gently to the ground, and began to groom her. But then Logan, a juvenile male, was led into the enclosure and ruined the perfect moment. Logan gripped Abby tight and gave her a few dominance bites, basically saying, hey, look what I can get away with, and you can't stop me. Dolly made her next move on Abby over at the water bowl. That was all Abby needed.
Ronnie came back in and joined Abby and Dolly for some family bonding. In the Robert Troop intro enclosure, Dixie and Darcy have become very attached to foster mom Elsie. Elsie is Chippy's daughter, and Chippy and Elsie have both been in the intro enclosure for about a month now, and the babies are in love with them. This is the first year that Robert Troop is fostering babies. So far, everything is going very well. At Coco Troop, Paloma and Elena have gotten really big. Kara is still obsessed with her reflection. The two babies have also become very playful. In the Scro intro enclosure, Paco and Baba Cool and their foster mom Bernadette are all very happy. Look at how big Paco's belly is getting. Diane, on the other hand, had a thrush outbreak and looked pretty unhappy. Foster mom Polar did her best to take care of her baby. Instead of trying to let the moms out and to catch Diane, Staff figured that it would be better for everyone's stress levels if they just left her inside the enclosure with the moms and the other babies. I checked in with Abby and Dolly a few days later, and they had settled in perfectly with one another. Welcome to Nido. Yeah.
Ja gut, Anfang 2000 war ja dann noch richtig Rentner. Ja. 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 Over at Goliath Troop, it was release day. Mrs. Gold took both Foxy and Macy into the Goliath main enclosure. <laughs> Those were all sounds of extreme excitement. After a while, Mrs. Gold got tired of both babies hanging on to her. The babies calmed down as they ventured through the enclosure with Mrs. Gold, stopping to eat at the various food piles. In two days, we had four new babies arrive, all of which had been kept as pets. Leo and Nala were quite confident, and Edgar just loved to hang out and sit on people. Yeah, do it every day. Leo just wanted to play and to drink milk. Nala spent some time sitting with Freya and comforting her.
Here's our baby intern, Ellie, demonstrating how to feed three hungry babies at the same time. It's taken me, oh Christ, <laughs> I, can't, I can't do this. <laughs> okay, wait, are you still drinking? Wait, 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 I can do this, I can do this. Yes. <laughs> Come on, bud. You just eat some what? I can't do four at the same time. <laughs> What a girl.